Welcome to Intro to Python by STEM Encounters. In this five lesson course, we'll go over all the basics you'll need to be fluent in Python. In this lesson, we'll go over why you should use Python, how to set up your integrated development environment, how to print, and user input. Now, without further ado, let's get started. Out of the hundreds and thousands of programming languages in the world, why should you pick Python? Well, Python is a really easy beginning language. It has really simple syntax and a lot of beginners will be able to uh, understand it pretty easily. Granted, you know English. Also, it has a pretty high skill ceiling. So once you feel like you've you know mastered the basics, uh, you'll be able to climb pretty high up. Also, it's really popular amongst STEM companies and employers are looking for people who know their Python. It has a huge community. It's one of the biggest programming languages out there in the world right now, and the people who use it are constantly adding to it, expanding, and just furthering the libraries that it has. So that means if you somehow feel like you've done everything in Python, you're lying because there's always more. And uh, with that said, let's get on to actually programming. Okay, to begin programming with any programming language, you first need to download the programming language itself. For Python, you want to head over to python.org and uh, here's the URL. Something to note, if at any time in this video you feel like I'm going too quickly to, uh, during a demonstration, uh, feel free to pause the video and uh, do what you need to do to catch up. Anyway, uh, now that you're on this landing page, what you want to do is hover uh, to download, hover over downloads, and uh, go to the operating software that you use. I'm currently on a Mac, so it'll auto default me to Mac. If you're Windows, you can click Windows, and uh, well, it should appear here as Windows. Now that you see this, click this button, and it should automatically install the most recent version of Python. Uh, now that you've clicked download, it should download and uh, click on the application or like the file that it downloaded and just install all of that. I don't have a Windows, so I will do a uh, Mac guide. Uh, basically, you just want to click continue, continue, make sure you read this. <laughs> all right, uh, just read all this, continue, continue. And I already have Python, so I will not be downloading this, but just install it. And uh, so uh, once you have Python installed, you want to go ahead and download uh, the IDE or the integrated development environment that will uh, run our Python code. An IDE is really essential to uh, programming and it allows us to actually type our code and run it. For this lesson, we'll be using the Python IDE PyCharm. I know there are other more beginner friendly ones but uh, I like and I'm most familiar with this. So uh, we will be using PyCharm for the video. If you want to use another IDE, uh, most of what we're doing is not like you could use other IDEs, but uh, we I will be programming with PyCharm. So uh, in order to download PyCharm, you want to head over to their website uh, by simply searching PyCharm. Now, this should pop up. Click the first link that comes up. It should be jetbrains.com slash parcharm slash. Now that you're here, you want to, uh, uh, let me click the X on that. Okay. You want to click the big download button and uh, download either professional or community. This one costs money. Uh, there will be a free trial, but for the sake of the uh, video, I will be using the free version. All right, so click download and uh, it should automatically download uh, your PyCharm. I already have it downloaded, so I will not be downloading it, but just do what you did for the uh, the Python like programming language and you should be fine. So uh, after you've downloaded your uh, PyCharm, you wanna go ahead and find it on your computer. So I will search up PyCharm here and I'll open it up. Uh, if you're on Windows, 
uh, I believe. I actually don't know how Windows works, but uh, maybe if there's a search feature, use that to um, search up pressure. All right, so um, oh, this is okay. So once you open up PyCharm, you should be greeted with something that looks something like this. Uh, the first thing you want to do is click new project. This will create well a new project for us. You can name this anything up here, uh, the highlighted portion. I'll name it intro to PyCharm. Python. Not quite sure. All right. Now uh, make sure all of your um, uh, presets look exactly like mine. So take the time to pause and like check between these. Uh, and once you think you're good to go, click create. Now uh, this should be this should create our development environment. Uh, this takes a while, so I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so now that your environment has been set up, uh, you should have something that looks like this. We, we can't exactly code on this, so you'll have to make a Python file. To do that, take your mouse and right click on this folder. It should be the name of your pro project. Now go over and click Python file and name your file. I will name it stem scanners. Uh, create it and this is your file. Uh, if you have a file like this, uh, we can start actually programming. Uh, the first thing we'll do when it comes to programming is printing. Printing uh, essentially just allows us to print anything we want via numbers, words, etc. It'll help us do math and debugging in the future and it's good to get used to it now. A print statement is basically the core of printing. It's literally what printing is. Without the print statement, we would not have printing. Uh, a print statement looks like this, and it's pretty simple. Uh, anything you want to print should be inside of these uh, parentheses. Uh, let me print a pretty simple phrase. So I'll, I'll print my name is Henry. Oh, can't spell my name. <laughs> now, if I run this, it should uh, display on my run section of uh, PyCharm, my name is Henry. Uh, you can do this with uh, any type of what we call data types, which you'll learn in a future episode. But uh, for now, just, just know that. Keep that in the back of your mind. So if I print two, the other one two. Notice how the two doesn't have quotation marks while the uh, text I had before had quotation marks. You can't mix, uh, those are what differentiate uh, two different types of data types. This, print, uh, this quotation mark one is called a string and this not numerical non-quotation mark one is what we call a integer. You, when it comes to printing, you cannot mix these two up in uh, one print statement. If I print my favorite number is, and I do a plus sign and let's say like an integer two, this will never work because these are two different data types. So if I run it, I'll get an error. Uh, if I want this to work, I'll have to convert this to a actual string. And now that if I run it, it should work. Uh, also note that this plus sign will connect to data types. So if I do, well, this is the example here. Okay, so uh, now that you know printing, let's move on to inputs. The concept of inputs in Python should be a pretty uh, simple concept to grasp. Essentially, it's just like Think of the Google search engine. You input something and 
uh, once the search engine gets like a certain input, it will produce an output. That it works basically the same in Python. Uh, but to do it in Python, we need to create an uh, input function and direct that input function into what we like to call a variable. You'll learn about variables more in the next episode. But for now, think of it as a place to store something. So, well, let's create our variable. I'll just name it variable equals, and then our input. Uh, to create any input uh, function, just for type input, uh, followed by a pair of parentheses. And in here, you can write any statement that you want to present to the user of your program. Uh, like you can ask them for, you know, their name, their age, their favorite color. So I'll do what is your name. Now, uh, once I run this, it'll it'll display what is your name because that's what I put as my uh, statement. Statement. And uh, now what I can do is I can give an input. So I'll do like my name's Henry. So I'll type Henry, and the code will end. Basically, what happened there was it asked me what my name was. I gave Henry as an input, and Henry gets stored into this variable. Now, we can uh, print our variable. And oh, let's do print. Your name is. And then if I run this, I'll type. My name is Henry. I'll, I'll say, your name is Henry. Oh, I could also do this. <clears throat> uh, as mentioned before, uh, you can't have uh, two different data types in a print statement. But because uh, everything that this input gets uh, is stored as a string. So this will be uh, converted to a string or like the the data type I inputted is a string. So this will be so technically this acts as a string. So our code should work. So my name is Henry. Run it and your name is Henry. And that is basically inputs. All we'll be covering in this lesson. Uh, thank you for listening and uh, stay tuned for the next episode.